Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will put together the cell for non-solid samples in the DTC-300. The DTC-300 can be used to measure the thermal conductivity of non-solid samples. Available as an additional accessory, paste, gels, and liquids in the range of 0.1 to 1.0 watts per meter Kelvin can be measured in the instrument. Here we have the DTC-300 liquid cell. It consists of two plates, an O-ring for the bottom plate, and a ceramic ring to hold the liquid inside the cell. To put the cell together, start with the bottom plate. Seal the bottom plate around with the O-ring. This will prevent leakage during testing. With the O-ring seal now on the plate, place the ceramic ring onto the bottom plate to create the space that will encompass the liquid. At this point, you can now fill the ring with your sample liquid. The amount of liquid used to fill the cell will be dependent upon the ceramic ring's height. Here, we want to overfill the cell, meaning we fill it up to the very top, almost to the point of running over. This is to create good contact between the liquid cell plates and the liquid, as well as the liquid cell plates and the instrument plates. We want to avoid air bubbles or pockets in the cell that can interfere with our test results. With the cell full, we can now place the top plate on the cell. You will notice that the top plate has a straight edge that allows for excess liquid to escape if necessary. This reaffirms our desire for good contact between the plates and minimized air pockets. Placing the cell into the instrument, center it on the bottom plate and allow the liquid to settle inside the cell. From this point, the liquid is now ready to be tested. In this tech tip, we put together the cell for non-solid samples in the DTC-300. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.